Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Leading with Lauren. So great to spend the beginning of the week with you. And this week, I want to talk about the importance of pausing. And I want to put a little bit of science, I guess, behind it as well. And a lot of times people talk about taking a moment and pausing. And you probably heard that before, before acting. And Peter Bregman, who's a highly regarded psychologist and author, has got a book out actually called The Four Second Rule. And he talks about how powerful that just pausing for four seconds can make a difference around how you might uh, take a more appropriate action or actually even using that four second rule to help you with, uh, with forming better habits, you and I. So it reminds me of a story. because I, I, Unfortunately, I've had to learn that lesson a few times over my life. And when I was about five or six years old, my mom and dad had bought me an air rifle. It was just a, you know, it just... You know, you kind of uh, um, loaded it up and it would just shoot air. But I found very quickly that when you stuck it in the dirt, it would shoot dirt lumps. And I quite enjoyed doing that. And we lived in a farm and my mother, uh, well, wash day was a big day. She had to do everything by hand. Like, I mean, she had to, there was no running water, no power uh, of any kind. And so she had to heat the water up and carry it out to the place where she washed the clothes in a wash shack and do everything by hand. And. So I'm out roaming around the yard, and there they were in front of me. There they were, these beautiful white sheets hanging on the clothesline. So what do you do when you got an air gun full of dirt? I go, and I aim, and I shoot, and I, honest to goodness, even though I was still a child in five or six years, I could see my life going out in front of me. Right after I pulled the trigger, I knew immediately as the dirt splattered on this, these sheets, that I was a dead man, that that was the wrong thing to do. Anyway, I won't tell you what, what happened, but you can guess. And my mom and I, who's now going to be 90 now, but, uh, less than a month, we talk about it and laugh about it. It wasn't very funny for anybody at that day. And, you know, I've, unfortunately, I've repeated that mistake from time to time. Even this past week, I sent an email out um, that, where I reacted very quickly to a, uh, an email that I didn't like. And um, it wasn't helpful. It was maybe uh, it was it was more harsh than it should have been, and even bordering on rude. I was not my best self. And if I'd have taken that four seconds and paused, if I'd have taken Bregman's advice there, taken a deep breath and paused, I wouldn't have sent it, or I would have sent a much uh, something with a better tone. So I hope that resonates with you. Um, you know, you're going to see those white sheets in front of you somewhere there, maybe this week, and you're going to want to pull that trigger, and maybe just before you do. Take those four seconds. Not very long. That was four seconds. Thanks. Come back next week and uh, hang out with us. Find Easter eggs on our on our new website if you can, and um, and uh, just come spend time with us on all of our socials. You inspire us. And um, thank you very much, and see you next week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.